What's up guys, Matt here at the MBM Sakaka Show. Just finished up class here with some awesome TRW crew members and this is vlog number 45. <laughs> All right, so today's question from the vlog comes from Allison. Allison had a wonderful question that personally I had a huge issue with. So Allison's question was, at what point can you, knowing something that you know that you're gonna do it right the first time and you're not gonna have an issue with it, can you delegate that job to other employees and feel comfortable with it? And Man, that's a hard one, okay? Here's the thing, is it's very, very, very hard to find somebody that cares about your business and your baby as much as you do, okay? So, I had a very, very hard time with that. Even when we hired our first couple employees, and still to this day, I look at things and I say, man, it's gonna take me so long to show them how to do it, it's gonna take me so long to teach them this, and then I know it's not gonna be right the first time. If I just do it and get it over with, it's gonna be right the first time and I can get it done. And it's difficult. Man, that is one of the, I, I love this question because that is one of the hardest things with owning your own business, is delegating jobs and trusting different people to handle things with your company and things with your business that you're going to be happy with. You know it's going to get done right. And here's the thing. This is the only advice I can kind of give on this is you need to find people that you can trust. Know that they're going to make mistakes, but know that they care about making them those mistakes. And as long as they care about making those mistakes and those mistakes kind of make them angry and they don't want to make those mistakes and it's not just them coming to a job and um, I gotta be here from eight to five and then I get to go home and I can forget about my work, but making them enjoy their job and making them be comfortable with their job and making them feel like they can make mistakes. So I still to this day with 30 plus employees, I've never once yelled at an employee or I've been frustrated with an employee but I'm I feel like I try to at least be good with them making mistakes and there's been mistakes that have been made that have cost us thousands and thousands of dollars and as long as they learn from their mistake they're gonna grow and they're gonna become better from making that mistake I can tell you I can't even guess the number of mistakes I've made with my business, okay? So the mistakes I've made with my business are, there's not even a number that can count that much, okay? But if you're scared to fail and you're scared to make mistakes and you're scared to trust other people with your company and with your business, you have no shot of growing because you can only do so much. I mean, my schedule, Yes, I leave the warehouse normally every day at 2.30, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, earlier than everybody else. But you know what my schedule is? I leave the warehouse at that time, but work, that never stops. I leave the warehouse so I ha actually have a chance to be able to spend a little bit of time with my family and a little bit of time with my kids before they go to bed early for because they have school the next day or so I can take them to a practice or do something with them and eat dinner with my family. Because I'll tell you what, the second that they go to bed at eight o'clock or nine o'clock or whenever that is, I'm back to work from 9 a.m. till 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m., nonstop, okay? Because this is my baby and this is my business and I'm gonna outwork every other business out there, okay? So that's one of the biggest things you need to look at when you're looking into delegating different jobs to employees. So just know, if, if you get to the point where you're so busy and you have employees and you're scared to delegate those different important jobs, it's never gonna change, okay? Until you give up a little bit of that and trust 
your employees to handle those jobs and be able to handle those jobs, I promise you, you have absolutely zero chance of growing your business because you can only do so much, okay? You need to find some employees that really care about your job, take care of them, try to make it a fun place to come to work, okay? Like I said, I'll never, I'll get frustrated. And you know what, if the same person makes the same mistake over and over and over every single time and it's obvious that they're not trying to learn from that mistake, guess what, they're not the right fit, right? But if, if you see that they make a mistake and they grow from that mistake, then the thing is, is you're building character for them and you're building your business as well. So unfortunately, there's no easy fix to this. You know that as soon as you give up some of that control, they're going to make mistakes. 100% without a doubt. Because you made mistakes off the start as well. Okay, we all know that. I made mistakes, everybody makes mistakes. If they can learn from those mistakes, that's the same thing I did. I made a ton of mistakes that cost thousands and thousands and tens and thousands of dollars when I started my business and kept growing my business because I didn't have the business background and everything that I needed. But I fought through it, I learned from my mistake and I didn't make that mistake again. As long as your employees are doing that and learning from it, they have zero chance of growing. They have zero chance of learning from their mistakes if they don't make mistakes, okay? So, I, I've had bosses in the past that you make one mistake, they scream at you, they yell at you, and you're scared to do anything else and you're scared to make a mistake, okay? I take a different approach. I never yell at them, I never get, I, of course, I get upset when it costs money because that's your business, but I'm never gonna take it out on them. We can figure out what the mistake was, we can figure out how to fix it so that mistake doesn't happen again, and guess what? It's fixed, okay? So, give up a little bit of your control. Delegate those different jobs that you, and start small, start small. Delegate those jobs that you think that they might be able to handle, and then as soon as you realize they can handle that little job, give them a little more responsibility, and then a little more responsibility, and eventually, you're gonna find some people where, I'm not kidding, this could actually happen, where you can maybe even go on a couple day vacation and not worry about it. Which I know, that that's mind blowing, right? Because <laughs> you guys know, when I go on my cruises or we go on our Disney cruise to have a big family vacation, the main reason why Lorene wants to do a Disney cruise is I don't have as good of internet access there. Well, when I don't have as good of internet access there, I can't get online as much, okay? Because she knows I don't want to waste a lot of money and spend $5 a minute to be online or whatever crazy absurd rate it is. So that's why she likes to do those because I can't work as much. But as soon as I go to sleep on the Disney cruise, I'm back to work again. But I feel like I can do stuff like that now because I have a great team back at the warehouse that I know the place isn't gonna fall apart when I leave because they care about the business and, and they've made all of those mistakes already. They've learned from them and guess what? They're all better from them now. So when it comes to delegating, it's a very, very, very hard thing. I still have issues with it and I still have problems delegating things, even when it comes to designs and setting up artwork packs. And I mean, I'll work on artwork packs for 24 hours and weeks and weeks and months and months at a time when I probably could have delegated it to somebody else, but I want to make sure it's done right and I'm always scared. And that's where I'm, I'm working on that every day as well, just like all of you are. So delegate your projects, delegate different things, take chances and try and find some employees that care just a fraction of what you do. If they care a fraction of what you do, then you got somebody good that's gonna be able to help your business. But if you don't delegate things, your business has zero chance of growing because unless you find a way to put like 60 hours in the day, and if you do, let me know, because I would love that, but it's not gonna happen. So the only way you can keep growing and keep getting more orders out and keep gaining more customers is to have a team that's gonna help you do all of that. So, hope you guys enjoyed the vlog today. Great question, I love that question because that's still something that I struggle with every day. But one thing I did find out is 
don't delegate all of that stuff to your spouse because that's not gonna work out, right? <laughs> all right, guys, thanks for watching. Of course, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel right there. And see all the vlogs right up here. Check out the website right over here. And check out some other cool videos at the top right here. Day two of the MBM Sakaka show is done. Day three is tomorrow. And I will be back on for another vlog. You guys all have an amazing day. And I'll see you tomorrow.